Welcome back to True Great Adventures. Hi guys, we finally made it to the waterfalls. We are at Nambi, Nambi Waterfalls, and it's pretty cool. We haven't gone to the falls yet, but we're just right here in the parking lot by the river, and it's, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed. So we're gonna take you along and uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I bet it's cold. Oh, it's freezing. It's freezing. <laughs> so, apparently we have to cross the water to get to the trail, the other end of the trail, which is over there. Huh? Are we gonna do it? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we made it across the first part, and apparently you have to go across a few more parts. And, and the water is like freezing. It's <laughs> numb and it hurts really bad. Yes, it is so freaking cold. <laughs> it was $15 to get in. I know I was having my doubts, but this is fun. It's like an adventure. It's freezing. Oh my gosh. Oh, my poor phalanges. Oh, I think phalanges are fingers, actually. Wow, this is beautiful. Kind of gives me Colorado vibes. Ooh, wait, my feet. Can't be in there for too long to get hypothermia. Man, like it hurts your feet. How cold <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Hurts. <laughs> that even though the water is negative 16 degrees he is going to jump in, I'm jump in. let's see if daddy does it what do you think go in, go in. how far do you think he's gonna get in he's probably gonna go like right there like right there <laughs> he's gonna go right there <laughs> What do you guys think? Okay. 
Hey guys, it's a brand new day. We're about to go on a hike up in the mountains to get away from the heat today because it's like 85 degrees. Um, but before we do that, there's a lot of trash in the area and we want to do our part and help pick some up. So the main reason there's a lot of trash is because uh, there's no dumpster anywhere. Like there's no dumpster and literally there's a landfill right there. Uh, we're just gonna bag up some trash as much as we can find. We have five trash bags we're gonna use and we're gonna uh, throw it away at um, a gas station that allows you to throw their trash. So boom, let's do it. All right, so we spotted our first good little pile of trash. We're gonna pick it up. Somehow London's wearing all red today and I have red shorts on as well. Quite a bit of trash. We've only been collecting for like 25 minutes. Yeah, there's and we got this much already. So <laughs> much trash. And what? and we saw a dead fox. We saw a what? We saw a dead fox over here. <laughs> a dead fox. He's mesmerized by it. He keeps looking at it. Yeah. You can still see its teeth and they're like super white. <laughs> and we oh, picked wow. up a good amount. There's still a lot more trash. And now we're gonna go into town and dump it. And then we're gonna go on a hike. And I feel like I've already been hiking. <laughs> so wish me luck. This is a mile. All right, we're here at the trail. Here at the trail, just looking at the map, seeing where we're gonna go. It says this is a mile, and it's about that size. So it's a mile up here. Then we turn around. <laughs> and then it's a mile there. And it's, that's another mile. And that's another mile. No, thank you. <laughs> so what's the name of the trail? Okay, it's pronounce. called the Shimasa. The Shimasi? Alright babe, so question. Out of all the creatures in the mountains, what are you most afraid of? Probably any sort of predator, like <laughs> a bear or a mountain lion. Yeah, I'd agree. I think I'd be more scared of a mountain lion than a bear. I, think I'd I don't be know more why. Scared of a bear. <laughs> I feel like a bear would be more likely to back off. Black bears are like vegetarian. They don't really eat like yeah. big game. I mean, maybe they do, but I don't think it's like really part of their diet. They probably just eat like salmon. Yeah, and I feel like the only way they would like really, really try to attack you is if you're like near their cubs or something. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like a mountain lion will just like mess with you just because it's in their yeah. nature. If you see a mountain lion, it's probably, you're probably in trouble. Yeah, because they usually don't let themselves be seen. Very cool. Can you, Ooh, guys, he is always making us hike. Look at him over there. And we Perfectly saw... fine, ready to go another mile. And I'm just like, turn around. I know. <laughs> and then we also saw a giant squirrel, and Daddy freaked us out like he was a giant no. lizard. No, you fre we freaked ourselves out. <laughs> <laughs> but he was just a squirrel, and he was coming down the tree like he was about to attack us, but he just ran away. I think, I think that's enough for today. We're gonna. Walk back down the trail and find something to eat in Santa Fe. Yeah. So but it's nice up here. My tummy's like this far. It's a little cooler up here too, so you kind of escape the heat a little. Yeah, the shade helps. But Although it's not too bad though. It's nothing like where it, how it is in our Arizona or Texas, Texas right now. It's like 110 degrees. Yeah, everywhere is really hot. But yeah. it, but it's, it's like also, it's also pretty high. It's making my nose get stiff. Yeah. It's really dry out here. That's one thing that we haven't gotten used to yet. I mean, if you were if you were born in this area or live in this area, you're probably used to it. But we're from Texas, and it's humid. Oh, it's always so, humid. It's always humid. So here, like we're we're so dry. Like I have never had to put on so much lotion in my life. 
like everything is dry my nose my fingertips like the skin is come peeling off them because it's so dry I'm sure we'll get used to it eventually but I like the humidity better I like yeah. to have moist skin that's a, those are spider eggs yeah is there a mushroom or a spider egg? Yeah. yeah Looks like a mushroom now. Yeah. Cause actually... We've been in New Mexico for two months and we've been exploring quite a bit. And we haven't explored 1% of New Mexico. Yeah. It just shows you how big this US, the US is and how much Huge. there is to see. Hi guys, so it's the next morning and unfortunately all the repairs we had done on the bus, we were still missing a piece. It was our radiator. Little did we know that our radiator was leaking a little bit on top. And since all the work was already done, we didn't want to stay longer and do it. So we're having to do it now. So we got a radiator in. We don't have anyone to do it because we decided that we're going to try and tackle it ourselves. So let's see how it goes. Pretty much what we have to do is take off the hood, unlatch all the hoses, unbolt the radiator, and put on the new one. It's a shiny new beast. Let's check it out. All right, so this is it. Bum, bum, bum. Looks good, looks nice, looks new. None of the fins are bent up. Ours is leaking like right here in this area on the top. Right up here somewhere. Yeah. So we opened up the petcock and we drained all the fluid in a five gallon bucket. Now we're gonna unlatch the hood springs and then disconnect the pins and take the hood off. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we got the hood off. It wasn't the easiest. Um, it's really easy to get off, but it's very heavy. I would say it's at least 150 pounds. So we just, and it's so wide that there's like nowhere to grab it. Um, so to get it over there, we had to roll it, put it down and then roll it over to get it over there. But we got it, but here's the old boy and is leaking up at the top. If I can show you, I have to get up here though. Yep, that's where she's leaking. So it's leaking like under that little cover right in there. And when we drive, of course it boils out and gets everywhere. Well, we haven't made it much farther than taking off the hood. We got some bolts here taken off. We have some hoses. Well, I guess we took off the transmission hoses. What is this, the intercooler? Which is this guy, and it goes into the missing space. We didn't get a new one of those, because this is fine. We figured if we take this off, it will make it easier to lift this, because it's quite heavy. Once we get everything disconnected, we're about an hour in, maybe a little over. All right, now that we got all that off, we had some lunch, we're back on it, and we're trying to change out the thermostat, which is in there, in there. <laughs> so it's a tight squeeze when you don't take everything off, but I'd say worth it to not take everything off. And when you don't have the right tools. Yep, and when you don't have the right tools, because we are not mechanics at all. <laughs> but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I need to take a breather. We have been at it for now seven hours, but give or take the breaks we've been taking to play with London, have lunch, drink water, all that stuff. But this radiator is kicking our butts. You know, I take that back. It's not even the radiator. It is the transmission lines, hoses that are like right below it. Anyways, you have to take them off to take the radiator off. And we can't get the suckers back on. We've been trying and trying and trying and we can't get them back on. Um, we have a really good mechanic, the guys who did the work for us before and they've been walking us through it, but we're still having troubles getting it on. Um, we're almost done with the radiator though. That's like the last thing. So let me show you how, how far we've gotten. All right, so we have the intercooler back in. We got the new radiator on. <laughs> we... Yep, we got all the hoses connected. Well, got the this back on, this back on. Anyways, so this is the last thing. That's what I was telling you guys. These hoses are a pain in the... Ah, 
So this is the fitting that goes to it. And I'm guessing it's like some sort of pressurized system. So everything has to go in different directions. So one twists this way and then the other goes this way and then this way and then it's really, really hard. Uh, it's been a nightmare, but it's been the hard, it's taken us four hours and we're not even done. Yeah, just this to do this part. Yeah. This is the only hard part. Everything else was fairly easy. So once we get these back on. And this should be easy. It should be. But we're not mechanics, so it's not easy for us. And we don't have the proper tools for anything. We're just using what we have. Right now, I'm just trying to... So this pretty much screws into the holes. Yes. And us not being mechanics... Everything we've been taught is righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So we were trying to put it on the right way, but it goes on left. Yeah, you have to screw it on to the left. And yes. then you get this part, just this part, and you screw it into the hose right ways. And then we're, we have the elbow on because we're using it for leverage to get, a, uh, to get this into the hole and screw it. Yes. And it's very hard to even get into the hole, but but yeah. I think we can get it. I think we can get it now. We had yeah. to stretch this one a little bit. That one was was easier, still very hard, and we still have to undo it because the hose is not. It's up too far, so it won't go. It won't tighten all the way. That little gap right there needs to be completely Look at my gone. Hands. Yes. I look like a mechanic. <laughs> and we're a mess. I've look washed my feet. I've washed my hands. My oh my gosh. It's because when when your hands get the stuff on it, it's dusty out here. So it blows all the dust on you and gets that stuck. It's so much worse too. It's been windstorming all day. Yeah. It's been there was like a tornado <laughs> right here. Yeah. It was crazy. And speaking of that, I don't even have my wind muff on. Yep. Right, we're gonna do it before the sun goes down. Yeah, so we just gotta get these hoses back on and then put the hood back on. Well, and then we gotta fill it up with radiator fluid. And then we gotta test it. And test it. And we gotta get more transmission fluid because this is transmission fluid down here. And that comes out when you take the hoses off, so. Well, luckily we didn't spill anything. Radiator fluid or transmission fluid. We yeah. caught it all. But we're done. We tested it, everything works, nothing's leaking. Everything went on. It went. It took us from nine o'clock to nine o'clock. Yep, we're, we're tired. See, we're gonna have some dinner. See you guys in the morning. Yay! We have finally, finally made it out of New Mexico. We finally. are finally. It's what we were in New Mexico for like two months. Yep, we so crossed like, over the Arizona bo border. Border, border. <laughs> we have finally made it to the next state over. We're about an hour and a half from our destination, which is Flagstaff and we're just really excited but on the way okay so two days ago we put our trash bag in the front behind the wall and a little mousey was in our trash bag okay we didn't think anything of it we threw away the bag and we we're like okay he's gone well last night we were in walmart's parking lot and i put another bag out there and thought like nothing of it because we're in walmart parking lot there's no mouses here well there's another mouse yeah, I heard him when I was driving, and he bumped my foot. So, he's in here somewhere, and um, yeah, we got to get rid of him. Yeah. We don't want him chewing up any wires, and we've seen that it's a problem. I've seen a lot of people say they've seen mouses in their bus, so. And it's funny, because we got these little uh, mouse repellers that you plug in the wall, but obviously they're not working. Not working, because there's definitely a mouse in here. Yep. So. But on the other hand, the bus is driving great. Uh, it's not heating up at all. It's running just fine. There's no leaks. For the first time we've owned the bus, there's no oil, no radiator fluid, no nothing. It's Yay. clean under there. Oh, yeah. These are so cool. I love these. And they're all a little different. Bubba's barbecue, BBQ sauce.
I'm so cute, right? Pickle jalapeno <laughs> eggs. Wow, that's so Oh, he is cute. Little bunny. No. How did he get in? He's just gonna fall. Ooh, it's good. Ooh, it's good. I do want one. So we did the drive, made it all the way out to Flagstaff. Yay, we're was, in Arizona. It was super easy. It wasn't bad. It was just so windy. It was like, super windy the whole time. Oh, I wish I, let me try to see how fast the wind was. Actually, we don't have service. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't found uh, the best spot just yet. It's beautiful here though. Oh yeah, it's let's beautiful. show them around before we end the video. Yeah, it's a boondocking spot. It's free. Uh, there's water down the road. There's tons of people here. So Vans, people. RVs, schoolies. Um, it's a beautiful spot, but the service is a little in and out. Um, it's not good here, but if you go down a ways, it's a little better. Yeah, down toward the meadow. There's a little lake down there. Yeah. Um, we're at the Arizona Mesa Lake. Marshall Lake, that's yeah. what it's called. It's got multiple names. But the biggest news is that we're finally out of New Mexico finally out of new mexico after two months of being in new mexico it was beautiful though i'm not knocking new mexico we loved it there we got to see so much of new mexico we got to see a lot carlsbad caverns the white sand national park a bunch lincoln. of lakes yeah we lincoln saw the, what else did we see the caves yeah we the saw caves. the caves we national, saw lincoln national forest <laughs> we saw a lot we saw It's so beautiful out here. The weather is perfect. The sun is bright. There's like open meadows and beautiful trees and stuff. I think this place was called Coco Nino National Forest. Yeah, that's We're how so you say it. We're so bad at names. <laughs> We're just like, I think this place is called. I think that's how you say it. Coco Nino? Coco Nino. What do you think of this place? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah, this is nice. And the cool thing is Flagstaff is like maybe 10 minutes away. Yeah, There's a water the station right down there. Mm -hmm. It's like 10 cents a gallon. beautiful trail but that's it for this week's video if you guys liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and drop your comments below we'll see you next week mm -hmm.